What's going on guys? Our sizzle and pudding coming at you from our home. It is beautiful Sunday fun day. We are loading up the flat yacht is what we like to call her. And we're gonna do a little bit of crabbing today. So I'm excited. We're both getting recovered from a cold actually. So I might be sniffling a lot today and I apologize. <laughs> I think it's COVID. Everything's COVID now, I don't right? Know. Everything. I don't know. So yeah, it's a beautiful Sunday. We haven't been on a boat since like two weeks, since Thanksgiving and everything else. Yeah. So we're gonna hit this do a little trolling, a sandbar. I'm gonna take you guys along with us. Yeah, we need some extra vitamin D. First, I really have been wanting to do this is cut some beautiful fresh flowers, or aka roses for the house, and before the sun hits them and destroys them. But this is my ghetto garden, is what Brian likes to call it. But you can see that all every one of these plants is just loaded with beautiful buds. Those have been in the sun for two days, so you can see like the color change. So I want to get these out of the oh, sun, sorry. So I can bring them in the house. They smell so good. I wish I could smell a little better, but I can't right now. And then we got gorgeous pink ones over here. Look at all these, they're all opening up. So I'm just gonna bring them in the house so I can enjoy them when we get back from fishing. That makes me enjoy them for a couple more days and I get to see them a lot longer. Dirty boots. All right guys, we have located our first trap. It's actually been moved. Somebody moved it away from where we had it, but I found it luckily. So let's pull it and check it out. Ooh. Yeah, I was supposed to be right on that pile on over there and it's way the heck out here. Not getting my hopes up for this one. Yeah, it was open. It was open because you're thinking your ties are gone. Yep. Thanks a lot. All right, so that was the first one that got stolen. Of the year, actually, yeah. season. It doesn't really happen that often because we're in Boynton and crabbing's terrible, so not a lot of people crab here, but I guess yes. if you put it next to a bridge, it's most acceptable because more people, there's more action, so we're going to move it. Right, All exactly. Right. All right, it is what it is, guys. Like I said, I didn't get my hopes up for this trap. All right. All right, second trap. Let's check it out. The zip tie is still on this one, so that's good, but it does get me pissed off or upset that people would just steal your trap, your stone crab traps or steal your crabs, and they steal your traps occasionally too. But people suck, I say that all the time. It's just so unfortunate, because I would never do that to you. But the way goes life, and I'm a firm, firm believer in karma. So go ahead and comment down below if you've had anything stolen before. It's just not cool. It's un totally unsportsmanlike. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what kind of low life has to like, is gonna pu pull a, cra a crab trap to maybe be a crab in Whoa! there. Whoa! We just got rewarded. Karma to on us. Woo! That's <laughs> me being so nice and giving away fish for all these months. I just got rewarded with a Jamondo. That's a baby we got back. Hold on, meanwhile, forward. we're getting forward, these wakes are like pushing me in to oh, the shallow again. Yeah, baby. Hold on. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that thing. Hold on. Hold on. We're, come on, we're come crashing. on. Drive the boat. I'm come trying. On. Drive the boat. I'm trying. Look at that sucker. Beautiful male right there. Look at the size of that claw. That is incredible. Beautiful, I'm so excited. And you guys can see I'm actually wearing a stone crab claw necklace made from one of these crabs. Each one of their claws is unique, just like a finger, uh, human fingerprint. So I actually sell them on my website, check it out. I'm gonna link everything down below, but we've got 2023 calendars, beautiful nautical pendants, eight by tens, fish hook and anchor bracelets like this one. And we just have awesome gifts for the holidays if you wanna support my small business. So y'all check it out. But let's go ahead and take that gorgeous claw. That is a colossal size stone crab claw right there, all day. So take a short knife, there's a four inch bait breaker. And what I like to do, there's a little faint line right here between the claw and the joint. You can see I have them on the floor, the claw I'm not taking underneath my foot lightly. And then you just take your tip of your knife and go right on that little point, and that crab is literally going to release that claw. You see that, that blood just shoot out? Do you see how the break is clean? There's no joint there at all. That means that I did a great job, and you can see that joint is intact fully. And it did just squirt out a little bit of crab blood. That's crab blood, by the way. That's not red blood like fish would have or we would have um, because they're crustacean. But that crab is going to be fine. You're legally allowed to take both claws, but we only take one claw. So look at the size of that gorgeous thing. All right, Ooh. that is more of an average size uh, stone crab there, but look at the color on him. He's much darker yeah. than that first crab, and it's a female. Yeah, see this is the bigger, the stomach or the abdomen is more round. Exactly. That's where they put the eggs. Let's measure this one. Yeah, too. let's measure it. It's actually gonna be too close, it's gonna be close. You put on this knuckle here. Yep. 
right there, and you so like this, and it's a keeper. Hold on. That keeps. Nice. Tasty. All right, let's go ahead and break that craw off. This is a different way to take a stone crab claw off. I'm gonna show you guys right now. And what I'm gonna do is just take this bait breaker knife from Smith and insert it right here. There's a membrane there. Whoa, that was really cool. All right, that was actually the first time I've done that before. I've seen a couple videos out there on how to take stone crab claws, but you saw how that just really, the crab just released the claw. Um, and they do that in the wild naturally if they're in a fight or they feel like their lives endangered, they'll just drop that claw and they'll get away. So inserting the claw into that meat section right there of the membrane just in instinctively had her release it. So that was really cool. Clean break, and that crab's gonna be absolutely fine. Let's let her go. Nice job there, Sizzle. Yeah, and just, everyone's gonna ask, you know, the claws grow back like a lizard's tail or a starfish. Yes. Okay, and so it, it takes like a year, depending on how many times they molt for, the, the, uh, for a claw to grow back, but maybe two or three years for a full-sized one that we can eat again, all right? Look. Oh, so a, cr a claw, a crab died in there. Yeah, there's one crab. All right. It happens. They get in fights. Yeah, they get in, the, they get in there and they fight, and uh, sometimes they die. So today I don't have any fish carcasses. Just haven't been fishing the last two weeks. I've been handling orders and stuff. So the next best thing is pig's feet, which I've got in these bag right here. A bunch of pig's feet that I put in the trap, and then I also put just plain old chicken legs. These are quarter chicken legs, I believe. But yeah, bought them in bulk, 40 pounds of it, and that's it, pretty simple. All right, so I'm closing up the trap now, and I really just put a zip tie on so I know um, if it's gonna be robbed or not, you know? So that way, when I come back and check my traps, if I have my zip tie on there, then I know that nobody robbed it. And a lot of people do that around here now, so I think I might have created a trend. <laughs> yeah, you know, and that's how we know the other one was robbed. Yep. Got burglarized. Exactly. A lot of people actually don't take the time to like reclose your trap and like lock it. They usually leave it open. Yeah, just so throw it. So it was nice of them, I guess, to close it. <laughs> <laughs> they make me think that they didn't rob it, but I know you robbed it. I know who you are. No, I don't. But yes, we do. We're gonna get you. <laughs> but I just got rewarded, and you did it. That's right. Haha. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put it back. Catch me another big crab. <laughs> Let's go, Sizzle. Woohoo! Hard work. I know, I'm straining. I consider, I consider this a workout. I mean, I'm, I'm straining watching you. <laughs> Ooh, it looks heavy. Oh, you just flew out, that's good. Was it a catfish? Yeah. Yeah. Empty. That's incredible. This trap is very close to that other trap. And it's empty. Action, and a fish on. And he's off. And he's off. He was a lady. Just trolling through the no wake zone. Catching them ladyfish. You know, Darcy's motto, always be trolling. Ooh, we got a fish over here. Look like a baby, but put him in a trap. Are you gonna let the first go, first fish go for all the karma? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a baby baby. Gotta let him go. Oh, it's a blue runner. <laughs> you gotta let, gotta let him go. Eating a bait as big as him. Yes, try and do better, Sizzle. Come on now. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got, Sizzle. It's a beautiful day in Florida. It is a beautiful day. I can't wait to go to the sandbar and... Sandbar is a lot of people out. Yeah, it's nice. But we've had record heat, really no cold weather down here yet. It's just beautiful. Yeah. For December. Yeah, what is it, December 4th today? Yeah, I'm usually bundled up. All right, we got a zip tie, that's good. Sorry, empty. Darn. You stink of crabbing. Ugh. Oh, oh, all right, all right, all right. We got some crabs. So it's just crazy how crabbing is like, it's just so hit or miss. Like we have another trap within a hundred feet of here that was completely empty. And sure enough, the one very close to it has crabs in it. So weird. Is that keepers or just crabs? I think we got some keepers, baby. Finally. Yeah. Oh yes, we got look one at or that two. one. We got one or two. Or three. That one, one, two, that one's got one on it too. That's not gonna keep. Oh look. Oh, cute. That's one of those purple ones. Yeah. Grab them. That's one of those pretty purple These ones. These are real pretty ones. They don't get very big. I never really see. Do you see the difference? Like, he has no yeah. spots like those guys do. So there's five in there. That's great. It's not too shabby. All right, let's let that little pretty guy go. Yeah. Let's get the catfish out of there. Catfish are not good bait ever I, for nothing. Yeah, I see it every year. Else. These tongs. Ew, he just peed. It's really made a whole crab in life. Nothing wants to eat that sucker. 
made our crabbing life much easier because you Woo. grab the catfish. There's no way to grab those catfish otherwise. Yeah. Oh, there's four. So there was four. Five. Oh, there's one way under there too. Five. Yeah, it's way under there. That's that's pretty good. Oh, holding on to the trap. Oh, jeez, they're so powerful. Look at that deformity right there. Oh yeah. Interesting. That's it. Yeah. Whew, I almost fell over. The wind blew me over literally. All right, and that's definitely a keeper. I mean, we'll measure it, but I don't even need to because I no, know that. No, you don't got to measure that. Sweet. All right, a small guy throwing him back. Female. We got a lefty like me. Lefty means uh, the crusher claw, the one that's the bigger claw because they have a tearing claw. So you can see just the shape of it's different for ripping meat, and the other one's for crushing stuff. So that's a lefty. Very cool. All right, don't even need to measure that. That's a keeper. Let's go ahead and break it off. Yep, perfect. Simple. Crab is going to be A OK. And she's got one claw. No, he. That's a boy. All right. Yep. Nice. I can't believe the trap had none, and this one has like whatever. How many? Like three claws there out of that. There was five in there. It's pretty wild. I don't know what causes that. What, what about, was there any difference in the bait? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I had a mixture of freshwater and saltwater carcasses. I yeah, mean, but this time we're using all chicken and pig, so we'll know, we'll at least be able to see a difference between carcasses, so. Yes. Oh, we got a couple. There might be one keeper in there. This guy up in the corner. Eh, he's too small. Yeah, it's okay. Got That's crabs. A good, it's a good sign, though. There's four again. Not too bad. And there's two different kinds in there. That little guy and the big guy. All right, those are all too small. See those things of fishing. Target species. That's it. That's all that matters. It's not I all can't that matters. tell you. It matters if I can eat the claws. You know, just like when you catch fish that are not keeper size. It's it also does not count. Same. It also does not count. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, I know. I'm telling you right now. It counts because you saw the crabs. I've seen enough crabs. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my God, boys. Sure, we only had a tarpon spot. We got three more. One, two, three. Not we just did three, so that's six. Over yeah, here. we did six. Yes, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two crabs. And was a fish? Trigger fish. Trigger fish. Show them the trigger. Yeah. Got you the trigger. That is cool. All right, look at that cute little juvenile gray trigger fish. Uh, they have to be a certain size to keep. They're actually delicious, so I'm gonna let them go real quick right now, but. Ooh, hold on, buddy. But they call them a trigger because of this, this dorsal fin or trigger. And what you do is basically they can lock themselves in a rock. You see how I can't push that down at all? Little man do it. You can't you push go. that down. I mean, you can't but push it. But they have a trigger. Go ahead, right underneath. You do it from your hand because my, my big fat hand will block the whole thing. Right at that second trigger and it'll go right down and you can fold it. But if he gets it straight up, there is no way you can move that. So basically he can get himself in a rock and then lock that up and hide himself from predators. So pretty cool. That's why they call it a trigger fish. Trigger, no trigger. Trigger, no trigger. We crushed it in this trap last time we pulled them two weeks ago. Sorry for the water all over the lens. But um, yeah, it is what it is, guys. We just got to keep rebaiting them, keep working. It is a blessing to be out here. We, don't really, we lost a trap a couple weeks ago, and then we had the stolen trap. So it was really eight traps today. It's true. These thieves. You stink. I lost the trap. By lost, we, we had another trap could have been stolen too. We're just not sure if it's stolen or lost yet, folks. Yeah, something. Yeah, so this is the other spot where we're not sure if our pot is lost or stolen. Yeah. Because this old pole got so decayed that it just fell over in a storm. But we're not marking it on our, our low rent depth finder, which you can see is marking this pole right, excellently, like really well. We love it. Yeah. But um, we're not seeing the trap. So that might have got stolen too. Yeah. Sucks. Yes. So that's that story. We're gonna get a grappling hook and try again some other time, but yeah. You know, with a long stick, we can't find it. We usually yeah. do pretty well. And that piece of wood there is super dangerous. I mean, any boat, something bad could happen there. Yeah. It's bad. It's not like a navigable uh, channel. It's just like, I guess it might have used to be 100 years ago, but it doesn't have a marker on it or nothing. Yeah. But we have Manalapan if you guys are familiar with the area. Yep. Anyway. Anyway, we yeah. got like five claws. Can't complain, four or five claws, can't complain about that. Got a little appetizer. Hit the sandbar, ready for the sandbar. Time for the sandbar, some land shark. <laughs> Ooh. He hit it while I grabbed it. We're just trolling through the sandbar. Woohoo! 
what we got. I was literally just putting a rod holder in there, and a fish grabbed it with my, in my hand. That was cool. Usually jacks in here. Spanish max should be coming in. Maybe bluefish. Coming in pretty quick. So it's a monster. You trying to tell me that I suck at crabbing and now I suck at fishing? The monster. The jack. Ooh, that's not a bad size. Good old Jack Craval. He's gonna be good in the crab pots next week. Yeah, I'm gonna keep him. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Nice job, this little. We don't mention it that much, but when we tell you guys about stuff we're using, like the lures and sea witches and all kinds of stuff. George has an Amazon store where all that stuff is like, you know, listed or whatever. Amazon.com forward slash shop or sizzle or something like that. We'll put it, it's always in the links in the description. So you can always find Darcy's stuff. And all the cooking stuff down there, reels. Just if you're interested, I mean, just to see the stuff, some of the stuff we use, it's, you know, might be helpful for you. I don't know if you guys knew this about land shark, or I guess all beer in general, because he got this lip on the bottom. But I'm going to take, you guys know that I actually don't have nails and dirty nails, but <laughs> from fishing. But So what I'm going to do is pop it with the other land shark. That is pretty cool. Ice cold land shark. That's delicious. It's just so you get it started, so if your nails can't get under there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's yeah. literally the first time I've ever done that trick, guys. Yeah. Awesome. Anyway, all right, so here's our one beer each. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back at the house, guys. Brian's going to eat the gigantic one right now. <laughs> yeah, guys. This, we just came home and started cracking these right up, cooking them up. Woo! And real quick, just, I mean, how you cook them? We've done it a hundred times. We got a ton of how to cook videos. We like to clean them up with some bottle brushes. Where's your bottle brush? They look like this. And that's because these things live in the dirt. So you want to get a little dirt off them. And we just boil them in water with some white, what is this, white distilled vinegar? Yes. And you boil them for five to seven minutes. And the white distilled vinegar helps it not stick to that shell. So yeah. you get one big giant piece oh, of meat. Oh, look at this big thing. Oh my God. Can you even see me a bite? You got a little claws. Nothing better. This is still warm. It's good. Woo, what another great day. We haven't been out of the water like two weeks, like we might have said. Yeah. It was nice to get back out there. Sorry, my hand is getting tired. <laughs> it's heavy it was nice to get out there and uh, enjoy the afternoon on the water. Beautiful. I can barely taste that crab just because I'm starting to get my taste back. We have COVID. Being sick. We got like little <laughs> head colds. Second yeah, year in a the row. claw she's going to make. Yep, exactly. Going to make a claw with that. Pretty tasty. Awesome. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for joining us on today's adventure. And until our next one, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Oh, so heavy. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and watch this next video. That's it. <laughs> I got crab in my tooth. <laughs>